So we're going to talk about statistics today. And we're going to give ourselves the basic terminology so we can talk about sets of numbers as they occur in the real world. And we got to start with some definitions, all right? And we have to start with the idea that you can be given a set of numbers. I could tell you that I am looking at some packages to ship. And one weighs four pounds, one weighs five pounds, one weighs six pounds. Three packages. And there's a number of ways to talk about those packages. The first is we can talk about the range of those packages. The difference between the largest and the smallest in the set. The range of this set is two pounds. My heaviest is six, my lightest is four. We can talk about the median, the middle number in the set. There's only three numbers here, so the middle number in this set is five. We can talk about the mode, the most common number in the set. There is no mode. Each package is different. This is a no mode set. We're going to go through that too, but it's the most common number. If I had a fourth number here, another four, the mode would be four because four occurred twice. Lastly, we have the mean, or the average is a lot of times what we call it. And again, I know we, most of us know this. It's the sum of the set divided by the number in the set. There are three numbers in the set. That will be our denominator. And the sum this time, 4 plus 6 plus 5 is 15. 15 divided by 5, or 3, is 5. That means we can describe this set in our brains kind of like this. We know there are three 5-pound packages to ship versus a 4, or 5, and a 6. The average kind of gives us a picture of the set that way. So what we're going to do is apply this to sets today. All right. So the first set I ever had here was some dog weights. A veterinarian is going to weigh five dogs. And the first thing when you get a set is you want to put it from smallest to greatest. So I think I have an 8, I have a 10, I have a 14, then we have two middle-sized dogs, two 30s. These are all pretty small dogs. All right. The range. The range is the smallest to the biggest. So the range in this case is... 30 minus 8, I think the range this time is 22 pounds. And again, there's a unit on this. All right. The median is the middle of the set. You notice it's the middle of the set once it's put in order. There are five numbers, so the middle number in this set is 14 pounds. The mode is the most common number. So now when we look at the set of five here, what's the number that happens the most often? Well, 30 happens twice. So the mode is 30 pounds. And finally, the mean. And in statistics, a lot of times it's, it's done as an X with a bar over it. So in this case, I have to add up every number in the set and divide by the number in the set. This is the total sum of the set, all right, and this is the number. 60, 70, 84 plus 8. 84 plus 8 is 92. So this is 92 over 5, which, again, I'm going to have to do some math. This is where a calculator a lot of times helps because this is a case where the number is just not that pretty. It's 18.4 pounds. And we just found the range, the median, the mode, and the mean for a set of numbers. Now, if we do another set of dog weights later on, then we have this. So now I have two small dogs, very small dogs, and these are all small. And if I put it in descending power, 4, 4, 8, 15, 15, 18. Six numbers. The range starts from the biggest to the smallest. 18 minus 4, I think we all see as 14 pounds. The median. What's in the middle? Well, the problem is there's six dogs. The middle of this set happens between 8 and 15. So how do you find the median? Well, in this case, when you have an even-numbered set, you actually just average the two numbers on either side. 8 plus 15 is 23. That's 23 over 2, which is 11.5 pounds. The mode is the most current. 
So what number, in this case, is most occurring? Well, this is a bimodal set. Bi, like your bicycle, meaning two. I think there are two modes here. Four occurs twice, and 15 occurs twice. So the mode is four and 15. Finally, the average, or the mean. All right, if I'm gonna do the mean of this bimodal set, I simply have to add up, or hit the, get the total sum of weight, get the total sum, the total sum divided by the quantity, and again, 30, 48, 56, 60, 64 sixths, and again, it's not a clean fraction here. My 64 goes into this, I get one zero, And I'm going to round here. I'm not going to go any further than this. I'm going to get 10.6 repeating. The mean is 10.6 pounds. And if I round to a 10, 10.66, 10.7 pounds. And again, to talk about this set of dogs, 10.7 might not be a bad way to describe it. But when you have sometimes different sets, you get different things. Take a look at this one. This is a freight company. So this freight company shipped a two pound, a three pound, a two pound, a two pound, a three pound, a two pound, a four pound, a three pound, and an 800 pound package. I'll tell you right now, I don't think an average is a good representation of what this company does typically. But this is their daily shipping. And maybe this is an odd day where they had one big thing. So again, we got to put in order. And a lot of times I count numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I missed one. You're missing a 3. I'm missing a 3. So let's get that 3 in there and get the 4 and the 800. Now I'm okay. Now, the range is gigantic. 2 pounds is 800 pounds. My range is 798 pounds this time. My median, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. My median, the middle number, is three. My mode, well, I see that four occurs four times. So my mode is two pounds. Now my average is the sum of these. Well, there's four twos, three threes, a four and an 800. We agreed there were nine, pound, nine numbers in the set. And if I use my calculator here real fast on the side, I found out that the average is 91.22 pounds. I summed these up and divided by 9. All right. That is the numbers for the statistics. The real question is, is what would you tell someone about this business? Do you say that they ship an average package of, 100, of 91 pounds? No. I would argue you might say that they ship an average package of 2 to 3 pounds, depending if you want to use a median or the mode. They'll do your heavy product. Obviously, they shipped it. But I would definitely not say their average is 91. It is the average this day. But a better representation in this case would be the 2 or the 3. That is statistics. You have to understand the data set. One more. The good old-fashioned, let's see how we do on a test. Here are some test scores. And again, a lot of times these examples come from a 60, 70, 80, 90% scale, unlike our scale. So the first thing i got to do is put in order. Now, another trick I do put a little check mark as I use them. I think the next one is 78, then 83, 85, 86, 93, 95. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That time I got it right. The range, well, this guy had a low score of 60 and a high score of 95. 95 minus 60, I think the range of scores is 35 this time. Pretty straightforward. The median, four numbers, four numbers. The median is between 83 and 84. Well, again, you got to average this, so it's 83 plus 85 over 2. Or what's the middle point of 83 and 85? 84. So I'm not going to go any further than that. The mode. And I start looking here. And are there any numbers that repeat? 
Well, there's some numbers that are awfully close to each other, but there's no mode. Nothing repeats, so there's no mode. You can have bimodal, you can have trimodal, you can have no mode. You need a repeating number to have a mode. Finally, the mean. And again, this is a lot of times how we average classes. So I have to sum up all eight scores and then divide by the quantity of eight. And again, if I do this math, and I did it here on the side so I wouldn't have to take video time, I get 646 over eight. And if I take 646 divided by eight, I got 80.75. So maybe in my class I would round to a tenth and call the mean 80.8. Now, the real question is, is that a good representation of the student's ability? In this case, I would tend to argue it's not horrible. It kind of falls to the left side of the scale. Maybe this student's better score of how they're doing is an 84. It also is a lot of times based on time. What if I told you the student, if these were in order by time, you could see that the student had a bad third and fourth week. If you omitted that and you said, well, the tests are cumulative as we go, it's not a bad representation because if this has every, all the information on it that we know, 80 out of 78, they're fairly close together. Statistics takes not only the ability to do range, median, mode, and mean. We have to think about the numbers as we go forward. But for today, we need the definitions.